Okay, so this session is really about um, the education pathway, but it, but I really want to, you know, share some great things just about teaching. So the first thing I want to ask you, and um, Mr. Stokes, I'd love for you to join too. You're going to react with a thumbs up if, if this is something um, that you can relate to. Cassie, do you know how to use the reactions? Do you know how to use the reactions at the bottom? Okay. Yeah. So here we go. The first statement is I have family members who are teachers. So you're going to put a thumbs up if that relates to you. So this is a reason why some individuals go into teaching is because they have family members. My mom was a high school math teacher. I became a high school math teacher. Not always, but that sometimes happens. I love working with children. Put a thumbs up if that works for you. Good. That is another reason I have a lot of students that get into teaching is they have worked with children. They love working with children. They work at child care centers. They do after school programs, boys and girls club. And then they're like, hey, I should take an education class. I have a desire to serve. Yep, this is a, a really big one. I know that I knew I wanted to get into something that was rewarding, that I could serve my community. And, um, and so this is another big reason that my students um, get into teaching. So I'm gonna just go through a few things to kind of just give you an overview of what, um, what it's like to kind of get started in this field. And then um, I'll answer any questions you have. Uh, feel free to pop on since it's a really small group. <laughs> you don't have to stay muted. You can interrupt me anytime. Um, so I am Sarah Lobsinger. I'm the education uh, instructor at Western Nevada College right down the street. And uh, we teach students in Carson City, Douglas, out in Church Hill and Lyon County. So I have students that come to me from all over. Oh, good. Emma's on here. Hi, Emma. Hello. And Hello. so I was excited to join you. Um, I recently moved from the Carson City School District as a teacher and as a an instructional coach and moved into this role at Western Nevada. So I am uh, also have a family member, Mark Lobsinger, who teaches at Carson High. Do either of you know him or heard of him? <laughs> he teaches I, engineering. I took his engineering class uh, sophomore uh, <laughs> I love it. So you're getting to know my whole family. So uh, basically, uh, if you are interested in teaching, there's lots of different uh, avenues. So you can get into early childhood education, which is going to be birth through second grade. The early childhood education program can help you become a director of a child care center, or it can help you get into teaching for a school district. Um, we also have an elementary education pathway, so that would be teaching K through eighth grade, um, or you can do a secondary education program, which would be uh, teaching seventh through 12th grade. Um, so at Western Nevada College specifically, you would be taking online or um, in-person classes. And I have a chat on here. Wanna... Okay. Good. Oh, you're not supposed to be here, Emma. I'm not sure how to get you out. Okay. So, um, so these classes transfer to UNR or Nevada State and um, Nevada State has an online program and UNR is more of an in-person program. So Western Nevada College can help you get into either of those programs depending on what you're interested in. But all of our classes transfer to WGU, to Great Basin, to um, Sierra Nevada. Uh, there's, there's lots of different ways to, um, to continue on, but Nevada State and UNR, we just have a really seamless um, transition for students. Uh, all of the classes do also have hands-on projects. We take field trips together. 
Uh, there's lesson planning embedded in each of the classes. And you'll also get a lot of practical experience. So you'll be in a practicum for most of the classes where you'll be in a classroom learning uh, with a mentor teacher at the same time that you're taking classes with me or with other instructors. So right now I have 40, over 40 students spread out over Northern Nevada in classrooms and about 20 of them are in Carson City. So it's pretty exciting that you can be kind of learning hands-on in a classroom while you're taking these classes. So you're um, able to really apply that learning. And um, so, like I said before, you can take certain classes at WNC that will transfer directly into UNR's program or Nevada State's program. So you're not having to retake credits. You're not having to pay that university level fee. You can take them at Western Nevada and then go right into their teacher programs. So I have a list of classes. It's probably small on your screen, but there's a list of classes you can take at Western Nevada College for either of those schools and some overlap. Um, do either of you happen to have uh, Mrs. Mills? for English or yearbook. So she is teaching our technology class at Western Nevada. So, so there are local instructors that know exactly what, um, what you need to be successful in the school districts and they're teaching the classes. So it's really, um, really a great experience. So you're gonna go right in to the field knowing what's going on and, and being um, on top of things. And then we recently uh, partnered with Great Basin. So if you are wanting to get a bachelor's in early childhood education, you can start at Western Nevada, get a certificate of achievement and then go straight into Great Basin for a bachelor's. Um, they also have an AAS and that allows you to be a director of a child care center. So lots of options. Um, I also started the Wildcat Teach Club. Um, there were some students that really wanted to be grouped with other education students, um, kind of like the nursing program at Western Nevada. We're trying to kind of build that into a teacher program so that you all can kind of work together, whether you're taking online classes or in-person classes. And um, we do uh, functions on campus together. We do social events. We do fundraising and so on. So you're kind of part of um, a bigger group, if you will. And that's called the Wildcat Teach Program. And you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And then um, Mr. Stokes is on here and, and I was just showing him that the place behind me was just recently created uh, using grant funds and uh, community funds. It's a, it's a um, children literacy kind of center where uh, students can check out books um, to use in their practicums, or they can check out curriculum kits to use. So as a WNC student, if you're tutoring maybe a second grader, you can come into the library, check out different resources to help that child. If you want to do a lesson plan for one of your classes, you can come check out materials for the lesson plan. So it's very um, hands-on and it's available to all students, but specifically to education or early childhood uh, students so that they, they can like get their hands on some of these materials that they're gonna need in um, when they start teaching. And then just some other things to think about. The school district has openings for lots of these different careers starting right after you graduate high school. So if you are interested in substitute teaching, there's an opportunity to become an emergency sub. Um, there's lots of paraprofessional opportunities where you can, um, <clears throat> you can get in with the school district right away, start getting that experience, and then, you know, maybe take classes or start earning your degree in the meantime. Um, there's also positions for office staff, custodians, um, cooks, bakers, and so on. So I have a lot of students that are doing these, um, that are part of these positions now, um, while they're taking classes to becoming a teacher. And if you're interested in any of this, I know Mr. Stokes would love to talk about them. Do you want to chime in? Thank you, Mrs. Lobsinger. Just briefly, 
Um, one more that I would add to that bottom bullet is bus driver or bus aid. And um, this is a pretty good chance for students who are just getting ready to go out on their own to actually have not only a, a decent paying entry level job, but to also have access to health insurance. So um, our bus drivers really only work four hours a day. And that's probably one of the few places around Carson City that you'll be able to work, have a four hour a day job and actually earn health insurance. Um, also young people, it is never too late to start thinking about your retirement. And when you go to work for a uh, public school system, you are actually able to begin putting retirement credits away. And we figured it out that if a, if a student worked for, uh, if they right out of high school went to work for a public agency like a public school and put in your 30 years, before you're 50, you'd actually be able to retire from that uh, profession. You're still young enough to work at another job while still pulling in your retirement um, stipend for the time that you put in as, uh, as a young person starting with the school district. So anyway, it's a great chance to get on your feet, to get thinking about the world of work. And of course, um, these are positions that don't require a license. Well, you do need a license to be a bus driver, but uh, they don't require a degree, I should say, maybe to be employed. But having WNC right here close by, it's a great way to dip your toe in the water of education and uh, see how it suits you. And then certainly take those credits and move on uh, to complete your degree. And then of course, we love hiring people back who have grown up in Carson City because typically that means you have family here, means you like the area. And for us as an organization, we love being able to hang on to you because uh, it's just a better fit. And we know that you know what our area is like. We know you know what the people are like. And so uh, thank you, Mrs. Lobsinger, for giving me a minute to give my elevator speech, but uh, we're really happy, Cassie, for you to be on, on the uh, Zoom meeting today and uh, giving this some consideration. Thank you, Mr. Stokes. Um, and really, this wraps it up for any questions you have. I know I have four minutes um, before you have to go. So um, I think we have a new one. Sherilyn is on here as well. So any questions about becoming a teacher? Any questions for Mr. Stokes? I know he'd, he'd love to answer um, anything we can help you with. Um, do you need a certain level of English to work or something? Um... Because I'm still learning English, um, it is kind of low, so. A certain level of language. So um, Mr. Stokes can talk about, you know, if you're interested in, you know, becoming a paraprofessional or working with some of our students that are English language learners. Um, I know there's some, some level of, of language that you'll have to have to be able to, to work with those students. But if you're interested in, in starting at Western Nevada and start taking classes, um, we can definitely work with you. And, and um, so, so no, there's, there's no requirement as far as starting school, but maybe working with Mr. Stokes, do you wanna address that? Thank you, I'd be happy to. As a ESL paraprofessional, we need native speakers uh, of Spanish who can come into our schools and help some of our students who don't speak any English. And uh, so it's, uh, it's a key place for you to start. And uh, then of course, as mentioned earlier, there are lots of other uh, positions that you can promote to with the correct background and training. But um, we also have ways that you can earn extra money in our system for doing translating or interpreting. So there's a variety of ways that you can be engaged. Oh, okay. That sounds good. <laughs> I'm going to put my uh, email in here for you guys if you are interested. And 
I can also direct you to Mr. Stokes if it's a question related to the school district. So feel free to email me any questions. Um, Cassie, I know you're about to graduate. What are you thinking about next year? Um, well, I've already applied to WNC and met with a counselor there. Um, and so far I've been planning to go into culinary arts, um, but I think that would also be a fun thing to teach. Um, so that was also something that was on my radar. Yeah, no, that's great. And I know we need uh, teachers in that field. Um, and, you know, even, you know, Mr. Lobsinger teaching in that career and technical field, um, you know, they're always looking to fill those positions. So feel free to take maybe like an education class at the same time, and you can kind of get a feeling for, for how they would they would relate. And, and then, it, you know, then you'll have a little bit more of a variety to choose from. Definitely, yeah. Well, I will wrap this up. Thank you so much, girls, for, for jumping on here and for Mr. State Stokes for taking a few minutes. Um, it was really fun. And, and I know I have another one coming up, but um, I, you know, I, I love small sessions to get to know you girls. Appreciate that. Thank, Thank you. This was a super fun Zoom. <laughs> Bye, Sarah. Good luck. Bye. Thanks. <laughs>